Okay, this is a short video of the boat and a little tour of it. Doing some work down there, so it's going to be kind of noisy. There it is. All my neighbors are out. Most of them, anyway. Three empty slips here. Up there, let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's a marina office. So each dock finger has one of these posts, which has your, your power and cable. Uh, it also has a breaker for the power. And cable outlet here. This is the, the 30 amp shore power. And there's the, the septic pump out and the water. So they've just got a T on there. So each slip has its own, own spigot and each dog finger. So each two slips has one of these. It's just a big vacuum. I'm not going to mess with it. That one's kind of stuck. Need to get some lube on it. Maybe I'll give it a bit of spray later. Here's my dock box. Of course, an overflow of junk on top of it, but just as long as it's it's kept off the dock, things are good. I'm working on my lines, so things are kind of a mess that way. There's my power and cable hooked up. My neighbors. So there's the, the dock finger. And it's actually on hinges to allow it to move separately. This this main dock float is actually quite solid. It does move up and down with the tide or whatever but it it would take an enormous amount of force to to get it to to move around these on the other hand the the individual dog fingers do move a tiny little bit but they're quite they're quite stable tides out a bit so you know water looks pretty scungy actually i'll go back Try and give a better look at the boat. This is the center cockpit. This is the aft cabin portion. Now the camera's gonna pick up all the close quarter stuff too too well but I'll do my best. And of course I just use this as, as storage and keeping all my reloading components and such. Just the inert stuff. There is storage under the berths but they're just little little pockets here and there. I just keep odds and ends through. Now these Technically two people could sleep back in this thing if I didn't have all the shelving and that in it. And these berths extend back under 
the, the cockpit seats for a ways. And then the, it ends where these two compartments start. One on each side. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Probably a better view from here. Okay, so starting from here, on the left is the, the galley section. Down below there, in that hatch, is some storage space and a six gallon electric water heater. Very effective. I can basically just run hot water from my faucet and make a coffee from it. And it's not bad. It's, it's plenty warm for me, anyway. See under there? Tucked under there is a very small microwave and a toaster. Some other odds and ends. Of course all my utensils are hanging up. They will bang around. If, I, if I'm out sailing, I will take all that down and store it. I don't leave it up like that. That would not work out under sail. This originally had, you know, try and move back a bit. That section right there originally had a, a gimbaled stove and gas oven set up. I got rid of that and just went with a propane cooktop because I wanted the space for a cooler or bar fridge or something. I ended up getting this cheap three way cooler from Canadian Tire and it works out great works off of uh, 120, 12 volt, or propane. And I've had it running on, on propane for a fair bit, and 120. Uh, 120, I think I've, almost two years now. And it hasn't let me down. It works out pretty good. It's not too terribly cold or whatever. I have to defrost it and clean it out once in a while, but you know what, for, for the money, it was a great thing. Tiny bit of storage underneath. Mostly access to the gas lines and the water lines coming from the, the holding tanks. To the left here, a good view of this, that seat there, most of the under, under part of that is taken up by a large freshwater holding tank. So that, that door right there is just a dummy door. And the front one is the only one that you actually have access to getting in there. There's a, there is a bit of storage in the front there, but not a whole lot. Likewise, these drawers. My cutlery and odds and ends. Under here, some more stuff. Likewise, under there. Now for the other side. Try and get a good view of it, kind of. <laughs> it's really hard. If you've watched my other videos, I do a lot of firearm related videos, so you're going to see a few guns pop up here and there in, in this video. This gives you an idea of the, the depth of the storage compartment. And what's actually up above that is... Uh, can I get the camera to kind of pick this up? That, that's a part of the boat where you can walk around on top of... and kind of get around the cabin to get get up front and do your sail stuff. View out my windows. A whole bunch of other level boards here. Deep under there is where all my computer junk is. The breakers, so on and so forth. This is where I actually spend if I'm inside, just kind of lounging around, this is where I am. And that, this section is where I sleep, actually. 
I'll just pull out some sheets, set it up, and go to bed right there. I don't bother using the forward berth. Move this out of the way here. Under here, there's storage. Likewise for that front piece there that I'm showing, there's more storage in under there. Mostly tools and such. Looking forward. Now, this section here is what used to be kind of a cooler. And I tore all that, all the insulation and assembly out of there, hollowed it all out and put in my large septic tank. Uh, septic holding tank. And that, that's what I, I recommend to anybody that wants to live aboard is, is try and figure out a, a spot to put something like that in. As most boats are, aren't really going to be big enough for really what you want. And of course right beside the holding tank is where the head is. Another good reason to put it there. That just drains down into the bilge tank. So my shower just just basically as soon as the, the shower water starts to flow my bilge pump kicks on and pumps it out into the ocean. So likewise I gotta be careful what I'm putting putting in there, cleaner wise or whatever, if I eh, do any cleaning in here, because it's basically going directly into the ocean. So I'm pretty careful with that. Likewise, I don't use shampoo, I just use glycerin bar soap, because it's pretty inert, very environmentally friendly, so... My redneck curtain. <laughs> There's a bit of storage in here. Down below there is the access, basically, to my fresh water pump. It's down in there, and the through holes. Of course, all the water on this boat is fresh water on demand. There's a pump that turns on. So if these valves leak at all, that pump would be going off and on every now and then and probably drive you, you mad. So they're not something you would, you would let drip or anything. And of course I've got Two hanging closets here. They're not terribly large, but they're not bad. I don't know if it's picking up, but I've got kind of a shelf built in there. Just to dump stuff in. I'm not going to open up the other hanging closet because all kinds of stuff's just going to come flying out. I do, do have a dehumidifier, which I will run if things get out of hand on the boat, humidity-wise. This time of year, that thing just kind of gets in the way. I don't like it, but uh, it, it helps. It does help. And of course, I mostly just use this for storage. And laundry piles up in here. That, that's really <laughs> what it's for. There is some storage compartments. Kind of small on each side, left and right there. But underneath the, the front part, there's a large compartment, and that's where another of the, the large holding, fresh water holding tanks are. Of course, this hatch. There are side windows in here too, but they don't open. So it, it, gets, it gets kind of toasty in here in the summer. If it's hot, and it is right now, so I'll get out of here. Anyway, uh, that kind of gives a not a bad view of the boat. Again, I'll apologize. The camera's not very good for doing this. If I ever get a better camera, I most certainly will reshoot this with something with a, a better fisheye lens. So that's the, the grand tour of the boat and when I get up in the morning and look outside this is this is what I look at. Beautiful. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video and if you have any questions or comments please leave them and if I miss anything or you want to see anything specific on here let me know and I'll, I'll shoot a, an additional portion with it or whatever 
or leave comments on the on the topic. Have yourself a good day.